Hello and welcome to Green Gander 75. My name is Buddy. Today we are finishing the belt housing on my Bridgeport mill. I'd like to take a moment and talk about some of the issues I had trying to get the spindle pulley hub out of the spindle pulley. Let's move in a little closer and have a look at what I did and why I did it this way. Now, before you hit that unsubscribe button, please remember that I don't have access to a machine shop, and the machine that I need to complete this project in a less messy way is the one I'm working on right now. There are two nuts that hold the bearing, spindle hub, and spindle pulley together to make an assembly. The inner nut showed signs of repeated hits with a hammer. Nothing I did would allow me to get that nut off the pulley, and I tried everything. The threads were severely galled and it was stuck for good. So I made the crazy choice to cut the inner nut in half and then I could break and drive that nut off the threads. After all, the nut only cost $30. The spindle hub it was stuck on cost $400. I was able to cut the nut in half with my tabletop drill press, a cutoff wheel on my Dremel tool and a lot of patience. After closer inspection of the outer nut, I figured it was best to go ahead and replace that as well. The new nuts have come in and I can tell I made the right decision to replace them. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. I was hesitant to show this, but it plays an important part in the success of this project. The gash in the threads was made when I went too deep with the burr cutting the old nut off. At first I was very unhappy, but quickly realized that this was going to work in my favor. Despite my cleanup of the spindle hub, the inner nut, better known as the upper bearing lock nut, would not fit. In a moment of desperation, I use a little force, or maybe a lot of force, to try to get that nut to go on the spindle hub. It started to turn and kept turning. The nut got easier to turn the more I turned it, and I was able to screw it all the way down. At this point, I figured it was stuck and I just threw $430 out the window. But to my surprise, the nut unscrewed with ease. I tried screwing it back on the shaft and it worked perfectly. On closer inspection, I realized that the gash in the threads on the shaft allowed the shaft to act like a tap and rethread the nut to match the threads on the shaft to make a near perfect fit. So what I thought was a horrible mistake worked in my favor in a surprising way. Both bearings here were a light press fit. Off camera, I have pressed together the spindle hub, spindle pulley, bearings, and spindle pulley bearing sleeve. Everything is a light press fit, so a word of caution. If you find you are having to force anything together, back up because you may have a problem. With that, let's get everything locked together. Here I'm putting the brake back in. There are a couple of pins that hold the cam ring in place and with that the belt housing is completely reassembled. folks the belt housing has been installed on the Bridgeport mill we're getting ready to move on to our next project which will be the motor it's gonna be a real challenge there looking forward to it well with that I want to thank everybody for watching thank you for your subscription we'll see y'all next time y'all have a good evening <laughs>